Indeed, thank you for staying with us here on KTN Business today. This uh, day, of course, uh, being Friday, Good Friday. Uh, many people out there celebrating Easter. Some, of course, being in Ivasha for uh, the uh, waiting the cars for the safari rally and others, of course, uh, along the road from Nairobi to Naivasha from Kasarani all the way uh, to the various staging areas. So, of course, as you do continue to enjoy yourself, uh, others having gone to church and, of course, our Muslim brothers uh, being in the middle of the fast, we have something for everybody. And we want to get into the conversation around the economy now and what have been the big stories of the week. And I want to bring in uh, our analyst, uh, Isaac Muteso. Karibu sana. Asante. You are, of course, an expert in matters financial and uh, the economy. What, in your opinion, has been the biggest story this week? Uh, the source which is now eating the airline of every person in Kenya is about uh, the fertilizer, about um, when we see um, mm -hmm. certain banks yes. getting non-dividend for, for all the time which has been there. Yes. Matters concerning the digital, the TikTokers. Yes. <laughs> and again, uh, much on uh, <clears throat> just general on the performance. Yes of the financial institution in the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, I think we'll start from the top of uh, your list. Yes. Uh, the fact of the matter has been that experts have said we're in the middle of uh, the El Nino yeah. uh, situation, uh, expected to be a bit prolonged. Uh, usually when that happens, uh, we have lots of rain here, but in Southern Africa, we have very little rainfall, yeah. and they're forecast to go into drought. Yeah. And of course, a shortfall in food uh, supply is going forward. Now, in Kenya, even with the increased rainfall, we've had uh, major reports of fake seeds, yeah. major reports of fake fertilizer. Yeah. Do you think that will dent our production uh, going forward uh, in this case, and then, of course, exposing us to maybe food insecurity? Uh, Peter, surely to say this is... Uh, <coughs> Kenya is a country that uh, every person must live in and experience how sweet it is to live in and how every day... Yes. Uh, there's a development of something sweet. Yes. Uh, and we, we are about to be Kenyans. Yes. Um, agriculture is one of uh, key in sustainable developments yes. that uh, we are looking for the country. The country has been performing very poorly mm -hmm. in terms of uh, agriculture. Yes. Now the rains are here. Mm -hmm. Farmers are prepared. Uh, Every person, most of the person, including myself, yes. you've got a message. Yes. Go to the next NCPB and, and pick up pick your fertilizer. A free fertilizer. Yes. Um, then, before even we've gone there to pick, yes. those who run faster than us, mm -hmm. both to pick for free and to purchase. Yes. They've been, they've been given a fake thing. Yes, fake products. Uh, then the question is uh, what are the repercussions that this uh, fast we've been given? us with our soilers. Mm -hmm. Because now the rains are here, we are looking prepared to go and plant and everyone do what he does for his crops. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a very sorry thing to say that uh, now we are being affected as Kenyans. Yes. And because again, we like, uh, and it's not that we like blaming, mm -hmm. yes. but as Kenyans again, we like putting excuses. Eh? In the case of failure to deliver, Mm -hmm. in agriculture mm -hmm. in the next harvesting season, the claim will be is that fake for that to give us that yes. as, as given us. Mm -hmm. But as, uh, as the government and as a person in myself, where has the government been? Mm -hmm. uh, are is, we saying yeah. government is actually powerless to do anything about uh, this uh, unscrupulous uh, people because this is actually criminal because under the law mm -hmm. uh, if you sell someone a fake product uh, mm -hmm. of course there's the ant, uh, the anti-counterfeit law mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, a criminal law it's called uh, obtaining money by false pretenses yeah. and uh, a variety of other things we can charge people under but we haven't seen anybody arraigned or anything like that few institutions in the government we, we, we can't complain uh, government in a black game because government is big but mm -hmm. there's those people who are mandated yes. for the regulations mm -hmm. in anything which is coming out yes. that is uh, to be fed consumable mm -hmm. or to be consumed in any nature. Yes. So uh, these are the people likes of uh, caps. Mm -hmm. uh, who is uh, the quality analysis and analyst yes. of NCPB? Where mm -hmm. the because this fertilizer is coming direct from the government institution, yes. not from the individual. Mm -hmm. 
Second, why has the government taken us this long with the, the public outcry that it's now almost now two weeks, people complaining about this? Mm -hmm. We could have already been told yes. this is what happened. But, but we also have yeah. uh, procurement uh, procedures where NCPB does not uh, prepare its own fertilizer. We know that they uh, yeah. do tenders and people supply. And in Kenya, when you say the word tender, yes. then people smile and say, ah, now I see where the problem is. But you see, every, every department and every institution has a procurement person. Yes. It has a quantity and or quality analysis person yes. that will keep an eye on anything which is coming. Mm -hmm. Because we know it's a tender that uh, when you, when you undo an advert or, or, or you, uh, you provide for the, for the tender, yes. the first sample is genuine. Mm -hmm. But what follows there is what's fake. Mm -hmm. um, before even this came, I, I, I saw a clip going around of where, I don't know, in Kariandusi or somewhere, yes. where this thing was being prepared and packed. Mm -hmm. The Minister for Agriculture, Maliduri, uh, has taken long defending he and said saying... It's actually not true. Yes. And saying not true, nobody has come to me, I've mm -hmm. not been briefed. Eh? Yes. Is it us to brief him or is his duty to brief us and tell us, now mm -hmm. this outcry is here? Yes. Can they, the way they're acting on, on, the, on, the, what, on the alcohol, mm -hmm. can they do this in the agriculture? <laughs> actually, <laughs> yes. Alcohol is for few of us, yes. Kenyans, yes. but agriculture is for all. In, in fact, now that you speak, talk about alcohol and the yeah. fact that the government has gone hammer and tongs yeah. after people in the value chain, yes. and yet the products that we have seen sold are not sold in license, but they're actually in the grey areas of the economy. <coughs> that is uh, not only overreaching, it's jeopardizing people's incomes. But what's wrong with alcohol in Kenya? Mm -hmm. Alcohol has nothing wrong, has done nothing wrong. Yes. It's, it's, you as a government, to train people to be responsible on what they consume. Mm -hmm. You cannot say because we are eating a lot of ugali, yes. then you, 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 you are eating a lot No, no, yes. no, no, no. It's you to train the Kenyan people to be responsible for the point when they are kids, mm -hmm. in the high school. But now you can't tell me that you cannot tell. You know what's happening now? Mm -hmm. They are buying the alcohol, plenty of enough from the outlets, yes. and do it in their home yes. or in their shady places. Mm -hmm. So it has no effect for me closing the pumps from five yes. or, the, or, the, or this time. Mm -hmm. It's you to train the people the pros and cons mm -hmm. of this alcohol. Mm -hmm. So uh, second, think of brewery and alcohol is one of, uh, in economics, one giving the Kenyans a lot of money. Yes. So there's nothing that, that uh, the government is doing. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's doing it in a, in a wrong way. Yes. They shouldn't empower Nakanda. We should see Nakanda coming down and motivating people and telling us the way they did with the, with the cigarettes. Yes. Yeah, telling the Kenyans, this and this is the way we do it. And excess of consumption is bad on, on, on the same. Mm -hmm. Or they look on better legislation, economical legislation ways of controlling their breweries or alcohol by again putting more tax on the same. Mm -hmm. you, you remember, Peter, when we were young, um, a stick of cigarette could go for maybe 50 cents or one bob. Mm -hmm. Now everybody thinks of getting a one stick at 25 bob or 20 shillings mm. or even more, and you'll be like, ah, no, this I can, mm. I can own it. Then if you want to do it, put a, a bottle of alcohol at 1,000, mm -hmm. you know, before, and avoid or try to regulate on the cheap, uh, on the cheap liquor. Mm -hmm. Then that will be better. So you cannot control one of the main source of funds in Kenya but there are things which are more important now, like you know, the fake fertilizer and the agriculture which is doing, uh, doing bad. Eh? Mm -hmm. The waters and the, what we call the blue economy is doing bad. Yes. And we put all the powers in, the, in just one way. But of course, Kenya is a country that we are led by politics and religion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, with all that in mind, and then the sort of uh, chaotic approach that government has taken to some of these initiatives, uh, yeah. creating a very poor environment for business, yeah. Uh, making uh, businesses even close, uh, mm -hmm. businesses that had taken financing. We've seen uh, uh, people who've had businesses that have been running for generations start to uh, yeah. drop off and yeah. that sort of yeah. thing. It's no wonder then that banks with a lot of exposure in the SME and the informal economy are reporting such uh, large defaults and having to provision so much. Talk to us about uh, the linkages then uh, between this sort of uh, behavior in the uh, in, in the market and the fact that uh, some of the larger banks in this country, especially those that support uh, small business, are struggling. Uh, you see, um, somehow we came up with some rules and regulations which will not support us today. And I, 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 my, my question would be, before you rise and 
make some rules. Yes. Have you seen the repercussion which may happen when this has happened? You know, uh, some of these institutions, uh, some of these uh, companies which, uh, or the outlets which are doing the alcohols, mm -hmm. they had taken huge loans yes. from the banks, perhaps with the business as a security. Yes. This institution, they employed several guys who are serving there or are still in that field. Yes. Now we as a government or somebody as a government has come up and said now because of my political uh, mileage or because that uh, this and this we have to make this clause. Why do you want this bank because to get the funds or to have the loans repaid, mm -hmm. you know? So, and uh, you see now, this is where all the institutions are losing in money. Banks are not getting their loans paid and in next quarter you will hear banks complaining of high default rate, mm -hmm. more so from SMEs, because yes. these are SMEs, most of SMEs and small, small businesses so that uh, and will be being affected with, with this. So uh, right away, we are not going to see a better performance in this quarter. Uh, banks have been struggling post-COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, last part of last year, this year, banks now, they started coming up and uh, changing and look there's a change again uh, there's a change in uh, when in, in banking rhythm we have every five years there's a change of products mm -hmm. right now the embassy is much in digital banking mm -hmm. which is again being passed out by the the artificial intelligence AI, uh, AI in the banking mm -hmm. um, in banking we are looking uh, in in near future we we'll have a very big layoffs Yes. The AI, the AI is taking jobs that you could do. And it's, it's to underwrite in Kenyans as we are complaining about unemployment uh, to ask yourself, is what I'm doing in my job place, can it be taken by AI? Mm -hmm. Because if AI can come and combine 10 of you and do what you are doing, yes. then you are becoming irrelevant in the market. Mm -hmm. And as a person now, that's something I get to think. Yes. And uh, at one point to support the government, them coming with the STEM or the best. Yes. Because now this other, uh, the arts is being placed by AI. Mm -hmm. uh, coming back again to this uh, field of economics and field of investments, um, we've seen uh, a certain top tier bank this year saying they not give the dividends. Yes. Uh, this is the one of the leading banks in the country. Mm -hmm. And the point to ask yourself is uh, then as a shareholder, why had I invested in, in this bank where everyone has a trust in? Mm -hmm. You know, we could be talking of a drop in dividend payout. Yes. Not null dividend payout. Mm -hmm. uh, when we are coming to these other small banks, uh, uh, we, we see the, the, the borrowing has been higher than the savings yes. and the investments. Mm -hmm. uh, then we look where to see, uh, we saw another bank, uh, an Nigerian bank, which has acquired a Kenyan yes. bank. Mm -hmm. And we ask ourselves, is, uh, is the way we are going the right way? Are we doing the right thing mm. for this country? Yes. Uh, the rules and the regulation which in government is setting for investment or for the banking friendlier mm -hmm. that can make me want to operate a bank station here mm -hmm. and earn from it. Yes. So it's the government to set some, what we are calling sustainable rules mm -hmm. that it will motivate me as a, uh, as a person mm -hmm. or uh, anybody to come and become an investor in Kenya. On, but, on, the, on yeah. the issue of dividends, then, yes. uh, do you think that uh, that lack of a dividend is an indicator of uh, things to come? Uh, maybe uh, provisioning yeah. Uh, banks setting aside cash, retaining earnings because they expect things to go further south. Yeah. And of course, then, if that's the case, what does this mean for the rest of the economy and for investors? Uh, first is, uh, you've already indicated to me that we are going south. Mm -hmm. Because the whole year we've been expecting, well, I'm an investor, I'm on a shoulder with you, I'm expecting a payout. Yes. Uh, you paid me at the time of uh, COVID. Mm -hmm. Why now that we are post-COVID? Mm -hmm. Uh, other banks of that range, they are um, talking of uh, a good rate, even the rate that they are, they, they are giving. Mm -hmm. They will be talking of abnormal profits. Yes. Then why me that I'm not giving? You know. So what happens with this is that there is mass exit in investments. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. and the guys going to more uh, in, nobody would want to invest where you're going to get or recoup something from it mm -hmm. so mostly is now um most of the investors are moving out yes to other institutions where they're earning a bit of it a bit of uh, the, the, the dividend or the income back so yes. Uh, that uh, institution has to tell us specifically why has this happened for the for the part of the of this year? Mm -hmm. Because as an investor and most of most of it, you know, we have pensioners, uh, we have retirees, yes. who are oh, their only source of income. Mm -hmm. And as we advise them, we tell them go to the top tier banks, yes, the which are more stable, mm. which are more stable, they are more flexible, they are everywhere in the country, they are government backed. When you are there, your money is safe and nobody can, you know, and we don't see going around. And you see now, this retiree or pensioner who, are, who was expecting now to have yes. something this uh, this half year or uh, at the end of maturity, then they have a problem with it because they are getting mm -hmm. nothing home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's then uh, finally uh, start to talk about uh, the issue of privatization. And we've seen yeah. the president uh, on our show today. Yeah. Uh, first, of course, uh, read the riot act to really say, government institutions about efficiency and spending money, cutting down on costs and that sort of thing. Uh, so the question then is, do you think government has currently structured is able to achieve the efficiencies we are talking about and cutting costs? And secondly, uh, in terms of privatization, yeah. uh, what can investors look forward to? And should we expect good uptake in the market, especially in regards to uh, the current economic challenges that we're facing? So will people have money to put into those institutions? First, Peter, let me appreciate and be happy that uh, the first time in 15 years, yes. KQ has meant profit. Mm -hmm. Operating profit. Operating profit. Yes. Because we, uh, we, it has been doing bad for the yes. last 10 years. Yes. And every day, the government has been pumping money to mm -hmm. KQ. Mm -hmm. What you were asked is um, uh, the cost or the efficiency of the government. Yes. Um, I can be proud of part of it uh, with the advisor that the government, with its operational, uh, some institutions, they are better. Mm -hmm. and it's, but you see, with the operative of the government, you've got to base everything with the president, yes. because the president has mandated some specific guys, uh, as the CS and PSS and directors to different ministries. Mm -hmm. And now the question, uh, the thing comes is, uh, you as a minister, the docket that you've been given, has it performed, or is it performing as par? Mm -hmm. As you put measures that will increase or enable efficiencies, minimizing cost, and putting down some, uh, what, like what we are seeing with doctors, yes. sprites and kind of things, because by the end of the day, the public is affected. Mm -hmm. And when the public is affected, the economy is still affected. Yes. Uh, in closing, we got to the point of privatization. Mm -hmm. I love what they are doing because a private person yes. would want or business would want to make profits, yes. nonetheless. Mm -hmm. For the government, it's a lot of outrage. Yes. So, uh, for me, I support privatization. Yes. But let's be told who is doing this yes. and who is partaking in this mm -hmm. that we avoid the aspect of corruption that the country, everybody's caring about. Yes. That it's not for the few, or somebody does, does not come like a proxy yes. and provide for himself or herself. Okay, yes. indeed, uh, thank you. Uh, very good insights there from our guest, uh, Isaac Monti. So talking about uh, privatization and the fact that even as we do start to uh, go forward with these exercises to ensure that many investors do get a chance to put their money into the various gems that Kenya is putting out there, uh, for private investment. That brings us to the end of this conversation for this afternoon and of course for this week. Uh, we expect to be back early next week with uh, a lot that's making uh, headlines in the world of business from across Kenya and across the region. As usual, to remember that we give you news that you can use. And to say asante sana to my guest uh, Isaac Montiso for taking the time. Correct. Mm. Yes. Well, with that, uh, we want to, of course, go off. But do remember to stay here on KTN uh, News as the news continues. We'll be back next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a great Easter.